Yeah, good morning. That vote was by the L.A. Metro Board, and they approved the environmental analysis for the project, but that is just one hurdle. There are other several very large ones to go. The project would build a 1.2-mile-long gondola. It would be a seven-minute ride and would shuttle thousands of Dodger fans to Dodger Stadium. It would also cost $500 million to build, but that's not what's controversial. Many people fear the gondola will hurt those who live around it by bringing in traffic and possibly displacing already vulnerable communities. And remember, Dodger Stadium is here now because a Chicano community was forced out of Chavez Ravine through eminent domain, and many locals are suspicious. But supporters say it will be a boon for the local economy as well as the city for decades to come, creating more jobs and bringing in fans. It's a project that's going to decimate the parks. It's going to decimate um, uh, LA State Historic Park. It's not going to do anything for Chinatown, which it passes over. It shows no respect for uh, Union Station, where the main station is going to be for the gondola. And I would not be standing here today if I did not fervently believe that this project will be invaluable to the city and region for years and decades to come. Still, it took 31 conditions to get the proposal past the Metro Board, among them that an anti-displacement fund be created and that they offer free unlimited rides for the community and businesses in Chinatown. And back out here live, it still needs to go before the city council and the council member who represents this area is vehemently opposed to it. It will also need state approval, so it could still be a long process. Live in Elysian Park, I'm Christy Pajardo. Let's send it back to you. All right, Christy, thanks so much. Much.